Certainly what we know is that the number of individuals who can survive on six hours of sleep or less and show no impairment in either their brain or their body rounded to a whole number and expressed as a percent of the population is zero. So quantity matters, but it turns out that we got it wrong in thinking that was the only thing because then came quality, so QQRT. Quality is defined in sleep science as two things. The first is something that your sleep tracker will measure, which is the continuity of your sleep, meaning do you sleep in one or two nice long bouts throughout the night? That's good quality of sleep, nice continuous bouts, versus your sort of sleep is very fragmented by all of these awakenings. That's very poor quality of sleep. And the way that you can measure it in your sleep tracker is just by looking at the app, and there'll be something called sleep efficiency. Sleep efficiency is defined as the following. Of the time that you're in bed, what percent of that time is spent asleep? And what we'd like to see is you north of 85% or above.